All right. Um, good afternoon to all of the students, parents. Okay. Uh, so in this video, I would um, like to show you the tutorial on how to use exam.net so that you can uh, fetch the question for your mid-year progressive assessment. Now, to use this exam.net, uh, the student will be needing the uh, unique exam key which the subject teacher will provide you with, all right? Which mean that each subject um, has their own uh, exam key. So different subject, different exam key. So once you receive your exam key for your uh, assessment for that day, okay? Take that key and open the exam.net website right here. All right, so this is the interface. From this um, interface, you can see the students and also a small section there to uh, type in your exam key. For example, so yeah, let's put the exam key. So for example, maybe uh, yeah, example this is the exam key. You click that, just copy, and type in the exam key and click next. Okay, once you click next, this uh, box will appear. You need to fill in with your detailed information such as your name, your class, and also your subject teacher's name. For example, let's put my name as uh, uh, Danny. My class is primary one. All right now, after that, you just click fetch the exam. All right, so this uh, notification will pop up saying that you are not allowed to leave the exam and your teachers will be notified if you do so. So basically, once you enter this page, before you click this exam, before you click begin the exam, you need to uh, be reminded that you are not allowed to leave the page first. You are not allowed to open a new tab. You are not allowed to press escape button. On your keyboard also you are not allowed to shut down completely or turn uh, switch to sleep mode on your laptop pc or tablet okay so once you settle up everything if you are ready you click begin exam all right so as you can see uh, this is what your question paper will look like so uh, on the top of the page is your question, your exam question, and the blank uh, space right here is your answer space where you have to type in all of uh, type in all of your answer right there. You can change this layout by clicking in this small uh, tools bar here. You can change it to above and below, as per se, or you can change it side by side depends on your whatever your prefer uh, preferences. Um, your question paper, again, depending on your subject teacher, on how your subject teacher uh, create the exam, it will contain a section by section, whether it will be uh, MCQ, subjective, or you will start with subjective, and also, uh, and then followed by objective, it depends on your subject teacher. But basically, what you have to do is, look at the question, what section are they, type in this section, for example, let's say, Section A would be the objective, so you type in section A. Number one, the answer is A. Number two, the answer is B. Number three, C. Number four, D. <coughs> so, this is how you answer your MCQ question. It's quite simple, just follow the step. Okay, this is how you answer your MCQ. Now, how about answering this subjective? It's still the same. Let's say Section B is the subjective, so you type in section B. Subjective number one, the answer number two, the answer. So you do that until you finish all of the question, okay? Uh, and then there are also certain cases where, uh, teacher, what happened if I accidentally uh, leave, left the page? What happened then? It's okay. 
let's try okay for example if you you accidentally click escape button this notification will pop up saying that you are temporarily locked out from the exam the exam area has lost focus please provide an explanation here so you just type in whatever reason okay for example you can see that i accidentally press <coughs> escape button put in your reason click request unlock you will be automatically bring back to your examination you can start answering your question okay there is no need to panic all right type in your reason click request unlock and you good to go you can uh, you can continue answering your question so now uh, depending on the question depending on the subject maybe for subjects such as bahasa melayu uh, sciences english moral agama uh, where the student only have just to type okay there is no involve any drawing any tables any graph whatever it should be no problem for them but subjects such as mathematics which involve a uh, little bit more uh, calculation where students have to show their working progress okay then this option right here we call as scan solution i will be providing another youtube tutorial explaining on how the student can use this option to upload their calculation whatsoever and whatnot your subject teacher will inform you later okay don't worry about that it's it's simple and easy all right it's quite simple and easy all right now uh Consider as you have done all, okay, and you want to submit. Now, need to be reminded that you have only one chance. There's no second chances, okay. So before you click submit exam, okay, right here in this option here, please make sure your you recheck back your answers. Make sure you answer all of the question, okay. Go through, go through, go through back all of your answers. Check everything okay once you're ready once you finish everything then you can click submit exam so click submit exam are you sure that you want to finish and submit the exam and yes click submit exam so this will be thank you for your submission so basically that's all that's it for the tutorial on how to use exam.net again i need to remind the students that do not panic okay do not lose your focus if anything happened for example if the website uh, requesting you to provide with um, individual key to resume it's okay don't worry just tell your subject teachers subject teachers will refer back to the it department and then we will try to help you from that okay um last but not least i again i, I wish all the best and good luck to all of the students okay yeah bye, -bye.